use the calculator to determine a best fit uh, regression model for some data. This data happens to be data of the historical population of the U.S. And uh, once we find the regression model, we're going to answer some questions. When does the model predict the population of the U.S. will reach 500 million and uh, 1 billion? Okay, to begin this process, we have to actually start to enter the data. So here's the data, and I'm going to get started, and then I'm going to allow you some time to look at the data and enter it yourself. So how do you get started? You start with the stat key, stat key, and when it comes up, it says edit, edit, and you press enter. And you'll see uh, columns of data, lists of data, L1, L2, L3. We're going to put the input values, the years into L1, and the output values, the population for those years in L2. Let's learn how to clear it out. So if we put the cursor all the way at the top, we cursor all the way up to the very top, we get all the way up to L1. Just keep going until you get there. Whoop. Then you hit the clear key, and then press down arrow, and it clears the whole column out. Same with this one. Clear key, down arrow, and the whole thing's cleared out. So you should probably start with clearing it out. We're also going to enter the data in starting from the year 1800. So it's increments of 200, <coughs> excuse me, 20 years. And we're going to enter in the population in millions. So we have 5.3, for example, and so on. So let me enter the first few, and then I'm going to allow you a chance to enter them in so we can continue. So we're going to start with 1800, which is going to be the year zero. And it's a lot easier if you, uh, excuse me, 20. It's a lot easier if you just go ahead and put all the input values in first and then go back and do the output values because when you press enter on the keypad it automatically goes down to the one below so you're not spending a lot of time going back and forth. 180 and then 200. Okay, I've got the input values done. So I go over to the next one, L2, all the way back up. Got to make sure I'm across from zero. And I can start with 5.3. So 5.31, I'll do two decimal places here. 9.64, 17.07, and so on. So now I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to leave it on the data for just a moment. So when you pause, you can see the data. And uh, when I come back, it's going to be in. So, so is yours, right? Okay. So I've got all my data in. Hopefully you do. Let's take a look here and see what it looks like. Yep, looks like it's all lining up pretty well. All the way back to the top. So the first thing we got to do is actually plot the data and see what it looks like in order to determine which regression model we're going to attempt first. All right. So how are we going to do that? Uh, we need to first <coughs> go to the stat plot. So we do second stat plot. And we're going to make sure that the plot one is turned on make sure all the rest of them are off. So how do you do that? You press enter. You turn on and off by going back and forth. If I want on, I get on top of it. You want the scatter plot, which is the first one right here. You want to make sure it says L1 and L2. And everything is great. Now we need a window, too. So let's set our window. Let's see. We know the data starts at, what, 0 and goes to 200. So maybe we should just, like, do minus 20, just so we see to the left a little bit. And we'll go to 220, so we see to the right of the data. And we know it starts at about 5.3, so we could start at 0. And we know the data goes all the way up to about 281,000. So uh, why don't we make it, uh, uh, I don't know, 300,000, which would be what? Excuse me, 3 million, right? 300 million. 
so 300 million. So that's 300 in my s calculator, 300 million. Okay, if everything's groovy, we hit the graph key and we should get the symbols on the graph. Oh, so there they are. And uh, right away, I am seeing something that maybe looks quadratic, but uh, it also, look, there's one point that's right down here in the corner. So it also looks very much exponential. And I have some notions that because this is a population uh, data, population data, that this is probably exponential. So let's start off uh, with the exponential. Okay. So before we uh, get into that, we want to turn something on here. It's called the diagnostics because we want to be able to see what's called the correlation coefficient or the squared correlation coefficient. So how do you do that? You do a second, second, and then what? Second and catalog, which is all the way down here at the bottom. Catalog. And then what happens? You get a big long list, and we're trying to get down to one that says diagnostic on, okay? So you can scroll down, you can actually type a D if you want to get there quicker, but I'll scroll for the benefit of all. And there it is, diagnostic on. And all we gotta do is press enter and enter one more time, and it says done. So make sure your diagnostic is on. Okay, what happens next? Uh, we need to actually do the regression. So we're going <coughs> to do the stat key once again. And this time we're going to go over to calc. And we think it's uh, exponential regression. So we're going to do X -E -X -P -R -E -G, which stands for exponential regression. So we're going to press enter.